Welcome to QAvalidation.com. So in our APM with Java video series, the next topic is how we can swipe by using uh, APM. Okay. So in our previous video, we have seen how we can scroll. So here is the code base that we have used. So I'll just recap how we have done. So initially we have taken the window size. Okay. So that becomes your dimension. And after that we have taken the height as uh, so it's kind of uh, half of the height we have taken. And then from there uh, so that will become your height start. So from where exactly you are what you call like uh, starting the scroll and then the scroll end is basically the 80 percent so how it is so let me show you like this so here uh, so somewhere on this point it will start and it will like scroll up actually 20 percent from here like as you can see this one okay so like that uh, we have used scroll and for that we have used a touch actions where uh, we have to press a particular point and then we have to move to another point okay so now the same concept we will use while swiping so for that uh, i am using the phone app that is so in each and every android you will get a phone app here so if i open that uh, here you can see i'm uh, i've got um, four tabs that is uh, your favorites and then call logs your contacts and then you have some recording i guess voicemail okay so if you see if you click on this uh, then you will get each and every tab but i have another option like uh, i can start the swiping here like this i can do that okay here you can see right to left so if i want to swipe right to left then i will move the right hand side okay so like if i want to go from favorites to my call history then what i need to do i need to scroll from right to left so that is what we are going to see today how we can perform that okay so for that what i will do i'll create a new new class here okay and then i will give like swipe test some name i'm giving and uh, let's give it as uh, like uh, main met main main method so here i'm using a different app so that's why i'm not using the existing what you call this uh, if you would have watched my previous videos then i have used the driver factory here where i i have given the app package and app activity but for now i'm not using the same sample app i'm using phone app so i'm just creating a new uh, what you call capabilities and everything here okay so what i will do quickly i will copy from the previous uh, project for ease of access or quick access so here i'll copy this one and then what i will do this many capabilities i will copy here and then here put it here fine and here what i will do i'll change a bit i'll show you what i'm going to change here so here I'm going to change my app activity and app package. Okay. So I will show you how we can get the app package and app activity. PK info. And here what I will do, I'll search for phone. Okay. So here is that one. Now long press on that detailed information. Okay. Here if I scroll down. Okay. Here you can see. Oops. Okay. So here you can see the app package and app activity so here is my com.google android dialer dialects activity that's what i'm going to use here okay that is my so my app package is com.google.android.dialer and the activity is dial tax activity so now let me enter those details here fine this is my activity so if i run this particular code my phone app will be launched so here is this one now here what i'm going to uh, so first thing what i can do either i can take the complete uh, phone uh, what you call the screen size of that like we have seen here so let me go here to the same uh, where i have used this scrolling okay now here what i'm going to do 
dimensions okay so dimension i can take a complete driver dot manage dot window dot get size or else what i can do i can take this particular panel only okay because that much will be uh, sufficient for me right so what i am going to do here let me close this driver factory okay I'll keep open this scrolling because I will use some of the code base from here for the swiping. Okay, so it's nothing actually. Scrolling is something like you go from top to bottom or bottom to up. Okay, swipe is something you will go from right to left. So most probably your uh, what do you call mostly your uh, x axis and y axis. So if you see in the scrolling, the x axis is zero. It means that I'm just going through y axis only here. Scroll start on the y axis scroll and on the x axis uh, y axis to the end point okay so the same thing here when i move so what i can do i can so first what i will do let's do like this so i'll take a web element okay web element and then i will say panel i'll show you what is that panel now driver dot find element and here by dot id okay and here this will be my lists page now i will show you what is this one okay so this is basically this screen i'm taking this whole screen this one not the whole screen but this panel basically because i'm going to only swipe this one not all these things so if you identify this particular panel the id is list dot pager i have already checked that before so i'm using that now here what i will do I'll copy this particular portion here and here what I will do instead of driver what I because driver basically takes the total screen right but I don't want this uh, whole managed out window because I don't want to take complete window but only the panel size only okay even you can take a particular elements uh, size also so that's what i'm doing here because i want to just swipe the panel not the complete screen there okay and here what i will do i will use one anchor actually i will show you what is that anchor here and here what i will do that one so panel dot get size get size dot get height by two i will do i will show you what is that Okay, so basically what I'm doing, I'm identifying a point on this x-axis, okay, so which will be my, what do you call, sorry, my y-axis, okay, here, because see, scrolling normally it happens like this, but here what I'm doing, I'm taking a point here, so let's say that from complete this height, I'm taking 50%, it means that this will be my point, okay, so from where I have to touch and then swipe okay so that's what i'm going to do that so that will become my x y axis point that one so just leave as it is that one okay now here what i will do i'll take a double and here i will say screen width actually so i am going to now see the width start point so from where exactly i will start this scroll swiping actually that one so here what i will do this dimension because i have this dimension is basically my complete uh, that panel size right here i will take the get width get width of here i need to do like this I will, so here what is basically this one what i'm doing this so dimension get width means this complete width starting from here to here and i'm taking 80 percent of that so let's say this will become my zero and starting starting 80 percent is let's say somewhere here so i decided the height by two so point is this one and then 80 percent so from here to here so this will be my point so from where i have to swipe like this okay so i have determined the starting point okay fine now here because it won't accept a double so what i will do i'll make it as a int so because the, that the touch actions uh, what you call move or the press the x y coordinates should be in integer so i will take like this scroll start let's say this is my starting point and here what i will do i'll just convert this double to int and for that what i will say int value okay in java anything data type if you are converting then double to int is this one okay the same thing i'll take the end point 
so where i should finish by doing that so this will become my end and here i will say this will become my end and here this won't be 80 percent but this will be 20 percent it means that my starting point is this one and then where i should end so let's say if i want to end here now i'm so you can't see actually what i'm doing i'm pressing my mouse here okay this point and i'm dragging towards left and i'm leaving this will become my 20 percent of the screen okay 20 percent of the width and i'm leaving see here now it swiped out right so that is what i'm just replicating the user action into this one now here if you see this complete thing i'll copy paste here and touch action okay now here i will have to change c now instead of my this anchor as i told beginning this will become my y axis okay now x axis is this one scroll start okay so here is my scroll start and this will my scroll end that's it okay like this okay now release dot pop form and now let's say that let's wait for some time okay let's wait for three minutes three seconds and then driver dot quit and then i will just quit that uh, application okay let me throw the exception fine okay so everything is ready and this duration uh, that is uh, two seconds let me make it as one because this screen because see when you scroll it it is long way actually so that's why i'm giving as a two seconds but when it is uh, what do you call when it is uh, like swiping if you see the width as compared to height the width is less so i have to give less time actually too so that this swipe will happen because normally what happens let's say if i while moving i will make it as like this much of slow sometimes what happens the swiping will not happen so you have to see you have to try with one second if it is not happening then you have to make uh, what you call 1.5 second or like that so uh, i have already checked one second is appropriate to what you call right to left swipe in any case i mean i have tried some other applications as well with the same code and it is working well for me okay so now everything is ready now let's try to run this one and let's uh, okay my apm server is up and running now what i will do right click and run as java application and i'll put the application side by side okay now it will launch the application the phone app okay and then what it will do it will swipe it okay so there is some problem i'll show you that one because we have used in our see this is the copy paste issue i should have put a driver here not the mobile driver because the driver is basically this one i'm taking this one as a driver okay that's why it was not executing here i'm doing a mistake this should be end so let's try this one okay let's try to run So it is invoking the application and here you can see so it swiped it and then it closed the application okay so like that and you can so another thing what you can do so let's say that you want to swipe it multiple times so what you can do you can copy paste this whole thing into a what you call it into a uh, method and here what i will say public void swipe screen let's say some method name and here i'm passing that particular element so let's say that uh, here and so this particular element uh, so this will become my panel so let's say like this okay and here i can do like this web driver driver for now i'm doing like this okay so here i can do like this web element e panel equal to el so let's say like this okay fine and here what i will do everything i will delete from here till this one and what i can do here directly i can call this swipe screen method so here swipe screen and under this i have to pass two parameters one is my panel 
and driver fine and i need to make it as static so i need to declare anything and here so let's say that i want to do two times swiping so basically the uh, reason i'm showing this particular generic method is that uh, what you can do you can use this particular code block in uh, in a separate file and whenever you want to swipe a screen you can just use this particular uh, code block okay so if you just want to what do you call um, uh, any of the panel or any of the element that you want to swipe you can just send that as a parameter and then the driver so if you are using a static driver then you need not to send this one okay you can just uh, get that driver instance into this so that by using only one parameter you can swipe it okay like uh, in our previous videos i have shown you how we are uh, like getting and setting the drivers like in this way mobile driver so here uh, what you call get driver means you will get the driver instance so you need not to send the driver here if you're not understanding what i'm talking you can watch uh, my previous videos like scrolling in ipm you will get to know more about that okay so for timing we will see if it is swiping two times or not so let me try to run this particular code right click on this and run as java application and let me put this simulator here So it's launching the application see one time two times okay so like that so if you want another time you can just call that method again so like this you can swipe on a screen okay so hope that helps okay so do subscribe to our youtube channel and stay tuned with such more videos thanks for watching